How many times have you been driving in downtown Toronto, you go to make a right-hand turn and slam the brakes and have your heart come out of your chest because you almost hit somebody that wasn't paying attention? Mm -hmm. And then think about it, how many times have you been not paying attention and almost been hit, right? This yeah. happens all the time. I was going to say, how, how many times have you been that person walking and texting and crossing the street? Uh, just the other day I was doing it and someone, a driver turning the corner, called me out on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a viewer of ours, so That's I got awesome. called anyways. That's awesome. Well um, but Honolulu being becoming the largest city in the U.S. to ban texting and and uh, at a crosswalk. Okay. You can get a fine, a 20, uh, 15 to $35 for the first offense, 35 to $75 for the second in the span of a year, and $75 to $99 for a third time. So, you know, not a, not a big fine, but enough to, I think, send a message that mm -hmm. it's not okay to cross. Well, a lot of fines are just supposed to be annoying, right? Yeah. They're just supposed to be like, like oh. parking tickets, like, right? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, it's obvious that, that, that rates of pedestrians getting hit are spiking. So this is something that, you know, I hope we don't have to put that law in because nobody wants more fines in the city. There's lots of ways to get fined. Yeah. If we could all just like, you know, take a second and look around and then walk, yeah. you know, so always text on the other side. Exactly. So this bans uh, PDAs, uh, laptops, pagers. Texting, computers, video games, so it's pretty wide. Uh, the only thing that you can do is have your iPod in, for example, so you okay. can still listen to music. As long as you can see. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Winston.